Hey y'all, hey Libra. Give me a second. <clears throat> y'all pop, take time to breathe out on disseminating moon. To me, the disseminating moon will be a waning moon. So a waning moon. He starts on it started on 1018. A waning crescent moon. So to me that's any disseminating moon. So whether it was a waning crescent or a waning give it really wouldn't matter. Just waning crescent. So 1018 up until 1025, which is a solar eclipse, and then you get another got another waning give it if y'all can't. Take time to breathe out, which is kind of crazy if you can't, but if you can't, then the next wane and give this moon, which is disseminating to me, is on November 9th in the sign of Taurus. Girl, you gon' thank, girl, you gon' thank, girl, you gon' thank, yeah. Give it up for Trey Songs. Anyway. <clears throat> so take time to breathe out. Woosa. Y'all may want to work with these two archangels. I just got an archangel area of candles. If y'all want to get that candle for me, let me know and I'll do the ritual work on it. It's tied to luck. Look, because the ace area in this deck is your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. So Ariel is a relative to money or luck, okay? So if y'all wanted to get that from me, let me know. I do the ritual work for it. Let me see and ship it out to you so you can keep the party going. Y'all got divine guidance. This is another angel. I ain't hip to, but I'm about to get hip to him and I mess around and get a candle. When it's angels you never heard of, they kind of be untapped into, you know what I'm saying? Ariel is not really an angel that people say. People constantly saying Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel is just certain Archangels people say. Ariel, people don't really talk about her. And people definitely don't talk about Sandalphon. S-A-N-D-A-L-P-H-O-N. And he's going to be an angel for divine guidance. So if y'all wanted to work with that energy, that's cool. And I'm about to get a candle with him. But anyway, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Some of y'all may be smart, the smartest person in the room. It says, Sur surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To, to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, which is also connect, take time to breathe out. These are two separate decks. And give the situation some breathing room. Take time to breathe out. Divine guidance, though, is that y'all searching for the meaning in life because clearly y'all the smartest person. A lot of people y'all deal with, y'all like the smartest person in the room. It says consider an alternative approach, which is really stepping back and breathing out. And it says surround yourself with wise teachers. For me, that means wiser teachers or people that are wiser than you or friends that are wiser than you. If you don't have any, then maybe you should go YouTube <laughs> on that breathe out time and just listen to wise teachers, you know? They can act as a friend or oh, with a friend. I have a Wayne Dyer when I need to hear some wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm by myself all the time. So I don't be talking to nobody but my ancestors. And they definitely wise. However, if I want to go practical, or I want to see and listen to them, like somebody like Wayne Dyer or Osho or whoever, you are wise teacher of choice. <laughs> I bet you I'm going to... Call, dial them up right on YouTube. Look at God, you know, take advantage. That's why y'all controlling. Because y'all more than likely are smarter than a lot of people that y'all are around all that. Even y'all friends. Y'all could be the advisor. The one that gives advice all the time. But when it's time for you to get advice, you be like, damn, that's how I be feeling. Damn, I could use some good advice right now. You know what I'm saying? From somebody like me is what I'm saying for real. All else fails. Here I come, YouTube. <laughs> Preferably somebody drops something in my lap. That's why y'all control them. Mm -hmm. Y'all rule justice. It's kind of hard to go against that. I just want everything to work right and be cool and, you know, 
You got to do it. If you don't do it, it won't get done or it won't get done right. You could probably be the truth, but that could get exhausted. So now it's time for you to be restored, basically, and get advice instead of having to give it all fucking time. Thank you for everybody. And y'all rule balance. So y'all definitely got to have checks and balances going on all the time with our personal life and what y'all personally be going through. The food, again. <coughs> it keeps popping. It's funny. The sun, Nipsey, talk about, yeah. Stay positive. Ambition and ancestors say yes to whatever it is. Yes, they agree with me. Yes, y'all need to take time and breathe out. Y'all overly controlling. Y'all going crazy. Y'all getting balanced. Y'all burning out. Some of y'all. <laughs> That'd be crazy, crazy, though. Because you will turn, like I said, before you end up damaging relationships. But damn, ain't nobody going to say shit. Like, you need to take a break. Just going to keep on coming to advice. But dear, talk about you. You know, it says good health, so y'all got to restore y'all selves. Yeah, entertainable. Yes, good health. Creating some form of alchemy to create more opportunities. To meet people for real in real life that are smarter than you. Successful unions. So people may need to take a break to get back to their unions to create more harmony there or to create wholeness because you'd be so busy helping all these people with your controlling. Then you come home and think you can control your man because you or your woman because you don't know how to turn off the CEO or the I'm in charge type of situation. And it's really you just sleepy and imbalanced. Good vibes only. Contentment, attainment, and joy. Y'all gonna be laughing at yourself. Laughing at life is say, yeah, freedom from the day to day. Handling. Liberation. Y'all innocent. Y'all really are. Trusting the universe. Yeah. Options. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Some of y'all are stubborn. Or some of y'all deal with stubborn people. But I feel like these y'all are stubborn. Controlling that comes along with being stubborn. But that also comes along. Sometimes you just need more sleep. You just ain't balanced. You're doing everything with the right thing. You know. And nobody takes the time to say, what's wrong with you? Some of y'all think it's ain't gonna be enough. Y'all gotta work, work, work. Y'all don't never take scarcity again. Some of y'all are so activists with it. Y'all don't want nobody else to ever face scarcity again. Six of Pentacles, y'all give back. It's ridiculous. But I mean, if you want to keep doing that, you're gonna have to take time to breathe out. It's a whoop saw. I know you don't want to, but listen. Four wands, you're building something. Say hi to Mac Miller. <laughs> Awareness. Yeah, I bet y'all aware. You tell you how to breathe out. Motivated. Detached. Yeah, detached from people. Detached. Take yourself out of y'all too caring to want to just everything right with the world. Everybody, let's just be rainbows and butterflies and everything beautiful, please. Like, come on. Indifferent. Yeah. Some of y'all, so y'all like egalitarians, like me. And I got Libra in my chart, but my birthday means egalitarian. Y'all gonna make sure everybody get a fair deal. But that can drive you crazy. It's kind of like trying not to contradict yourself. But you can't help it. Because you don't want nobody fucked up. Or getting what they don't deserve. Injustice of any kind. You know, let me hear you out. State your case. Kind of situation. <laughs> So that can people can think you control it with that, but it don't be that. It's just that you well able to handle the job. <laughs> Whatever going on, you gonna make sure they get a fair deal. Apathy, yeah, some of y'all are too empathetic. You need to practice some form of apathy to help you detach. You know, some shit is just not your issue. You know, you a small fish in a big pond, even though you could be in a big ass pond, <laughs> but you still a small fish. You could be in a small pond. You still a small fish compared to the pond. You could think your fish pond is the hugest. You know what I'm saying? Until you go somewhere else. You're like, damn, shit, this fucking got pond pond. <laughs> you really become the little fish in that pond. 
disinterested. Yes, become disinterested. Detach. When you take this time to breathe out, become disinterested in everything that you do for a living. And with this humanitarian selflessness, giving back situation, all right? Yeah. Contemplating. Some of y'all have been contemplating. Should y'all get like that? Because y'all don't know if y'all should be like that. Because y'all want all right to do it. Uh -uh. Definitely get like that. <clears throat> to me, that's the way to stop yourself to, from becoming passive aggressive. For real. I know what passive aggressive is. And I know what people that are just, you know, they get their indifferences, but it ain't going to bother you about it. They just interested in anything that's not really in agreement with what they're saying, basically, because they know what they're saying is the truth. Because more than likely they've lived it or they have some form of experience in it. You know, just two different perceptions it doesn't make me wrong, doesn't make you wrong. I'm definitely not interested in your right and what you perceive as right, because they can go on forever. And they ain't trying to convince nobody of nothing. Motivated. You can remain motivated, even though you're disinterested or detached from what you do for a living. Some of y'all about to take a new path all the way together. The new path could be how available y'all are. So that's it. That's it, right? So <clears throat> when people can get to you, you too accessible. And you better be a problem solver and all this shit. And yeah, you got to take control. But sometimes, too much of anything is not good. Then y'all be becoming stubborn and shit. Like y'all got Alzheimer's. It's not funny. It's, it, that's what it do to you. You know? It just be too much of too much. Of something. Yeah. Emperor in reverse. Some of y'all need to give back to y'all honeys. Y'all husbands. Or y'all mates. And y'all children. Y'all personal life. Y'all do a whole shit. A lot of charitable shit for people. But at the end of the day, the fool, when I see a zero, that mean I owe you nothing. And I'm laughing at the fact that I thought that I did it. When you a giver and you give a fuck, you sleep real good at night. Some people don't because they be feeling guilty that they can't help as many more people as they would want to because they age or they body or whatever. They own personal shit just won't allow them to, but they won't look at it like that. They'll be running a guilt trip on themselves. And sometimes that guilt trip you run on yourself can cause you, cause you to be overly controlling because you want to really help everybody and you want everything to be... Right with the world and you're overly wanted. Uh -uh, fuck all that. Go to sleep. Because you know who you helped. You know all the people you helped. Even if you don't keep tabs on it, you know that's your battle cry. That's your mission statement is to help people. Not to hurt them. Okay? And if I hurt you, I'm very sorry because I did not mean that. I was probably too busy helping everybody else or somebody else or I was just overwhelmed. And you just caught that. You caught my overwhelmness because... I be helping people. Okay? I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about y'all talking to somebody else, if y'all were honest. <clears throat> if somebody just needed to, you know, felt you need to apologize since you were too brash that day or you feel like this or you're just dominating or you're dominating the conversation, whatever the fuck people come up with. Listen, I got a lot going on. I actually have a husband. I actually have a wife. Yeah. <laughs> Your problem is the only problem. Yeah, can you believe that? I can't believe that I've done this for this long with these amount of people. Now look at my empire. Look at my family. Look at my personal business. Fucked up, right? Okay, you get a new path. Some of y'all gonna stand on that. That's the new path y'all taking. The charity starting at home and y'all still do what y'all do with. Not as be as accessible as you once were. To maintain balance. Mm-hmm. No will of fortune. See, I'm about to change. Got to. Karma complete. Change of luck. Fate. Optimism. Good fortune. Protection. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. Success. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. Change of luck. Yeah. I bet. Ace of Cups. Somebody's waiting for you to come home. Because they want to do it in a way that it works. That's the dope shit about marriage. I feel like some of y'all is in a marriage. It ain't looking for a new love. No, it's detaching from people because you got to make something new that isn't working because you're not there to make it work because you'd be so busy helping everybody else. Or you think it's some of y'all sometimes tend to think the grass is greener when it ain't. And then you go over their house a little bit, the ones you helping, 
Yeah, see, it's a whole ass situation. And your shit ain't that bad, can it you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, don't even bring it here. Because I stay helping everybody. So now that I'm helping myself and my family and my wife and my husband or whatever I got going on, you better not say shit to me. You ain't got nothing to say to me. The motherfucker want to say, man, you're not about to trick me into thinking I got to over, that I got to do more work for you than I got to do for my family that lives under my roof. No, that's crazy, crazy. And some of y'all are. Be having mental imbalances. Some of y'all person having mental imbalances because it be money, 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 money. But the some of the money y'all make is to help other people get out of debt too. Y'all real charitable. Like taking on other people's problems and solving that shit. For real. While your shit, on the other hand, somewhere threw up on the side of the damn island looking crazy. For real. Life get, life get demanding as fuck. Yeah, time or money. Mm-hmm. Ancestors. Y'all all over it. Mm-hmm. Because y'all y'all always tossed up between time or money. But time is money. You know? For real. People are assets. <clears throat> money ain't nothing but value. People are value. We just don't look at it like that. For whatever reason. Y'all sick of being tossed up. After y'all got a teeter title all the time. That's a balance card. The fuck with y'all mentally. Y'all gotta keep trying to okay. And then spend that and then the time that you do spend with your loved ones, it's kinda like you can feel the strain. <laughs> they want you to either stay or they wanna yell at you about why you ain't here enough, but they don't want to because they know what you do and they don't want to da, 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 da. Is, it'd be too much going on. Mm-hmm. This is a new day. This thing. Rewards for your patience. Watch out for haters, of course. Time to invest. Ancestors blessing. Money blessings. Winning growth. Yeah. So that means when you do breathe out, you still gonna have money. You still gonna make money. It's still not. It's like y'all. Yeah. Some of y'all convictions are just too strong. Mm-hmm. People think that's controlling because some of y'all convictions are just too strong. They can think what they want to, but they can take it to true though. People want to do what want to. You cannot control the way people think. That's another thing you can't control. What they're going to say and what they're going to think. Baby, sure, shit. You want to wear yourself out? Keep with that shit. I can care fuck less. Okay? Because I know what the fuck I be doing. And some of y'all know what the fuck y'all be doing too. But that's the danger in repeating information that you hear. That's why I rarely do it. Because sometimes when you just repeat some shit, because you just around some mockingbirds or somebody just made up some shit and you keep reading the same thing and before you know what you're saying it. And it's like, how do I even know that's true? You know what I'm saying? Oh, some real shit. People just come against y'all because y'all got strong convictions. Give it up for a P and B. I love him. Oh, God. Why did they have to do that, man? I don't know. <sighs> Some of y'all are seven to one. Strong conviction, standing up for yourself, being attacked because you're too strong in your convictions. You're persistent and you face challenges head on. You head strong. People don't like that. Y'all answers is watching all this shit too. Yeah. Yeah. And some of y'all got people. Some of y'all may end up in divorce, but I don't feel like it's because y'all wasn't compatible or it didn't work out or whatever. It's because y'all just didn't, y'all couldn't, y'all only one person. You can only do so much. For real. It's a I see. Even if some of y'all in divorce court right now, I see it as lost. Yeah. If you still love somebody, it's different when the love is gone. If the love is gone, get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck what you got together. Fuck all that. They want to understand. Look. However, if that's bank, you know if that's bank either. Y'all know who y'all don't want to be bothered with and who y'all do. Exactly. Just the situation. Somebody could be ready to divorce a Libra woman. Because you know. It's like y'all, some of y'all know. You know? Like you you just couldn't be all that you should have been because of all the stuff you had going on. Mm -hmm. Let me see y'all. Because I feel like some of y'all seriously like about to want to call a kiss with somebody. 
But I ain't gonna be so quick to tell people to leave, especially if it's not, if it doesn't feel cut and dry. Sometimes I wrestle with the fact that something cut and dry, or is it my opinion, because I want this to work out. But then I don't know y'all, you know what I'm saying? So it don't matter to me. <laughs> so I'm just like, no, nah, that ain't it. But you always do gotta check yourself as a tarot reader to not put your opinion in it. When you channel it, no. Uh -uh. Yeah, nothing to do with me. People would tell you to leave somebody because they don't like what they're doing. You could like it. I don't like the way he treats me. I like that growl a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not in this. I'm like, what the get out of here? I don't like how he controls it. Like, I actually like how he takes control. Can you believe that? Get you some business. Justice again. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all feel like they, they might have wanted to divorce y'all. Oh, y'all feel like they going to or y'all may have got served divorce paper or something. Because <laughs> y'all feel like y'all deserve to be divorced because y'all been unfair to y'all family. Y'all husband, why y'all? Y'all members, candy shit. Vulnerability. Y'all feel vulnerable right now because y'all need to breathe out. See what's going on. Y'all ain't scared no more, which is good. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, stand it up for your motherfucking self. If I gotta be attacked, I just gotta be attacked, but I'm gonna speak the truth in love. I'm not gonna act like ain't shit going on because I told y'all, Libra's got the habit of that shit, wearing rose cutter glasses or act like you don't see shit but the beauty and shit. No, you see that ugly shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody take you to somewhere like, okay, they give you the spiel about this being a family restaurant, blah, 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 and da, 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 and the story sounds so beautiful. You're like, okay, they're like, you're gonna come? Gonna take it. They take you to the restaurant they talked about, and then it's, it's like dirty as fuck at Grammy. Y'all act like, y'all like, oh, this is, oh my God, oh, okay, yeah, you know? <laughs> when, when you really want to say, man, you need to get somebody here to clean this motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how to dance, but that shit can get in your way when shit be really, you know. Look, I said what I said. You gonna attack me, you gonna do whatever you want to, but this is how I feel. And I'm standing on that shit. And I ain't about to act like this shit ain't happening or a certain shit ain't existing to appease you. Mm. Some of y'all ready to fight. Yeah. Y'all ready to fight for y'all family or something? I feel like that dark figure is maybe bad press or people just talking and texting and talking about shit which they don't know in within a marriage for some of y'all. Or within a house. Oh, business that people don't know except for people in that household. If they tell you then, you would know. But other than that, you wasn't there. Coming after y'all, go energy. That's why y'all vulnerable. I can't help but be great. If I'm great, if I was born to be great, and I actually became great. Okay, what the fuck can I do about that shit? So you're gonna attack me. Okay, well I guess I get to deal with the attacks because I'm not about to shrink for nobody, first of all. And I'm not about to act like you ain't full of shit for being mad at me just because I'm great. Right. So shit about to change for y'all. Because y'all gonna be sad to take control of y'all life instead of getting, you know, blamed for being too controlling or where you be too controlling because you doing too much for everybody. And not enough for yourself and those that, that's behind your closed doors. Your personal life. That's why I keep seeing business and family gonna have to start going together. Because the business part that you got to do in order to feed your family and yourself ends up affecting your family. And your family get ripped apart while what you do for a living ends up looking like it's flourishing. But you dying the whole motherfucking time. Trying to help everybody else to keep the outside together. Yeah, some of like, yeah, I'm going to tend to my children, to my grandchildren. Two of Cups situation. Mm-hmm. Y'all silly people. 
silly people, y'all just gotta y'all y'all not sit y'all that's strong convictions. Y'all releasing or silly people gonna be removed from y'all circles or lives or whatever. I just feel like y'all to sometimes y'all got most the most sense in the room. Okay, people under y'all for a reason. Y'all gotta take control for a reason. People slandering y'all for a reason. Y'all fighting for people coming after y'all or trying to attack y'all, even preventing it from happening. Crazy vibe and picking up. I am picking it up, Libra. Y'all was the longest reading today, so this is why. Yeah. Ooh, y'all got intuition about needing to bag it up. Yeah, bag it up. You know? Take it to the house and check on your family. And breathe out, you know? And I mean, work gonna be there. It will, trust me. Alright, love and light.